it's gone. Claire, we are ready. Kids, we are so proud of you and we cannot wait. God created it all, the strong and the mighty, the humble and small. But there once was a spider who was so undersized, he had to think big to see the world through God's eyes. He learned in God's kingdom, we all play a part, and our size doesn't matter, for God looks at our heart. So bug out to the garden, I'll show you the way. Our story begins there on a beautiful day. Brothers and sisters, Pastor May is saying grab a hold of this day and rejoice in it. So get up, get going, and get happy about God's work. Amen. Garden Row, home to the most enterprising group of creeping critters that ever crawled, the backyard bunch works tirelessly among Mrs. Potter's prize-winning flowers and tries not to stumble over the half-eaten candy left by Seymour, her three-year-old grandson. The, you'll find more Skittles and Snickers in this garden than mulch. Every dawn, the sergeant of the army ants calls his recruits together, together and gives them their marching orders for the day. <laughs> Troops? Yes, yes, Bill Sergeant. AM do roster. Vid? Yes, sir. Carry on. Next. Just, just carry on, but I can do more, sir. May I remind you, Private Vid, that you're a spider. In fact, you're a spider mite, as small as the bug of the garden. 
There's only so much you can do. Dismissed. Next. Luna. Private Luna. She only comes out at night, sir. She's a nocturnal moth. Remember? It's hard to remember, but she's never here. Next. Sparks. Present. Reporting for duty. Fired up and ready. It's not much use for a firefly in the middle of the day. Ugh, I never get to take part in anything. Calm down, Sparks. A little blow of fuse. <sighs> Next. Butch! Mr. Sarge, can I take an early lunch? I'm hungry. I declare, don't you stink bugs think about anything else with eating? Uh, no. What is there else to think about, Miss Dottie? A well-bred ladybug is only concerned about two things. Where to keep her dessert fork and keeping her white gloves clean. Which I must say is difficult in this place. Ew, bugs everywhere. But aren't you a bug, Miss Dottie? Please, I am not a bug. I am an insect from the Upper East Side of the trellis. Snap two troops, <laughs> private bolt in the trenches, and private dog patrol the airspace, and enforce her on the march. It was true. The house at 54 Garden Row had recently been sold, and they sensed trouble might be on the way. And just then, trouble showed up. It was Miss Judith North, the top-selling real estate agent of Samuel Properties. She had closed the sale last week, but had some unfinished business. This is Judith North, Samuel Properties. With whom am I speaking? <laughs> oh, yes, Mr. Teen, Mr. Phil Esteen of Pestnamore Exterminators. Thank you for returning my call. I need to book your services as soon as possible at 54 Garden Row. The new owners have requested a full property extermination. But they hadn't heard the worst of it yet. It's a huge job, and I want only the finest equipment. What's that? You say you have the biggest, baddest, most extreme extermination machine available? You don't mean the Goliath DX-1000? Perfect. Please plan to begin early tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. The gate will be open. Oh. And uh, Mr. Teen, no mercy. Scorch the earth. <laughs> bye bye, doll. And so the countdown began. What are we gonna do? We have less than 24 hours to live. Wait, I know this Goliath machine is really scary, but I have a really big plan. You're too to little how to have a big plan. What we need to depend on right now is armor and weapons. No, what we depend on right now is God. Everybody, pray. Lord, you brought us to worse times than this before, so we're counting on you to do it again. Amen? Amen.
Remember God told Joshua, I'll give you Jericho. Send your armies marching around the city. Go! go. Once a day for six days, they circle around the town. And on the next day, blow the horn. our friends started to make their plans, but they were about to be surprised by some visitors from the wrong side of the garden path. Hey, Daddy-o! What's buzzing, cousin? What's the gist, silly fish? You want to join us? We got a one-way ticket to Splitsville. Gracious, who are you? I've never seen you around the garden. And no wonder, this street gang of termites knew how to lay low and beat the heat. Until now. The name's Riff, and these are my two homies, Action and Diesel. We just busted out of the big house, and we're making a break for it. Yeah, in case you ain't heard, a heap of bad news is heading this way. Roger that. The Goliath DX-1000 is scheduled for 0800 tomorrow, but we'll be ready. <laughs> you all must be cruising for a bruiser. The only way to handle a Goliath is to van moose. Go poof. Make like tap and run! And take the easy way out, man! We'll show you how! Let's make a run for it! Come on, we got a split! We got a boogie shake! Let's make, make a run for it. Come on, we got a split. We got a boogie, shake a leg. We all agree it's time to leave and hit the streets. We gotta bust out, break out, bug out, get on out of town, out of town. We gotta bust out, break out, bug out before he comes around. You gotta take a stand. Poor God, stop. Slow down, God can turn us around. We're not giving up, we can make it somehow. With God on our side, we can win without a doubt. We're not gonna run, we'll take the easy way out. Hey, let you is listening. Let's make a run for it. Come on, we go.
friends. We would love to have you join us and fight the good fight of faith. Remember, God's family all works together. Amen. Amen. Sorry, Charlie. We're A-W-O-L, and I can tell you this. If you try to face down a giant, sooner or later, you'll end up face down. <laughs> later, Gator. After a while, crocodile. Poof. The moose, Mr. Homie. I hope you guys make it to Splitsville. The day was half over, the termites had bugged out, and the garden gang was no closer to solving their problem. They didn't have a solution yet, but they had plenty of opinions. I say we hit this Goliath head on. A surprise attack. Pow! How barbaric and excessively aggressive. I say we give Mr. Phil S. Stein a good scolding. Make him see how rude his behavior is and put him in timeout for the rest of the day. Hey, I can release my secret weapon. No! Ew! Everybody, pray. Lord, we know you speak in a small, still voice, but today, could you speak up a little? Amen? Amen. Amen. Not for this. I have the answer. There's only one way to face a giant. Build a wall. You mean build a wall out of these candy bars that Seymour left? Ew, they are so sticky. But what good will that do? It'll keep him out and us in. But there's a better way if you just listen to my plan. The time for words is over. It's action that is needed now. Troops! All right, you group of six-legged, sticky-wing, exoskeleton crawlers. Are you worms or are you bugs? Bugs, bugs sir. sir. Then show me what you got.
day was at an end, and so was their labor. Tall, tilted, and slightly sticky, the wall stood before them. But would it be enough to keep the giant out? Mission accomplished. Good work, troops. Now everyone back to their barracks. Report back at 0800 hours. Dismissed. <laughs> Victory's ours, Pasture. No, the victory is Lord's. Good night, everyone. Oh, Sparks, I wish I had faith like Pastor Mantis, but I just don't think building a wall is how we should deal with the giant. But no one wants to listen to my plan. That's what happens when you're the smallest bug in the garden. Listen, Vid, let me tell you something I learned when I was just a little firefly. The darker it gets, the brighter light seems to shine. I think the same thing happens when we go to God with our problems. Sparks is right, Vid. God's light is brighter than any night. Hi, Luna. We missed you this morning. <sighs> Sarge can't seem to remember that nocturnal moss only come out when the sun goes down. Have you heard about the Goliath that's coming? Yes, I know all about it. Vid, you've got to speak up. Remember what Pastor Mantis always says? You can't hide your light when nobody will see it. You've got to let your light shine before everyone so they'll give praise to God. Father of light, shine down on me. Father of light, shine down. All day and night, burning so bright. Father of light, shine down. Yes, Father of light, shine down on me. You two Sparks, I just got awake with what God's given me. I'm gonna make my plan happen. Will you guys stay up and help me? Of course, but what can we do? You can shine some light. Let's get started. Thank 
shot. Oh, the spider and his friends worked the entire night through, and finally the morning of the big day arrived. Attention troops, front and center, rank and file, spit and posh. It's 755, the enemy's on the horizon. Get to your battle station, get behind the... Oh no! The wall is gone. And not just gone, it's been eaten. Bulge! Sorry. <laughs> now what do we do? I, I have a plan. And just when everyone had lost hope, someone found the voice. Yes, there it stood, the result of their midnight labor. A big slingshot with a big web. And they decided to call it... Big Shot! It's inspired, Vid, but how did you manage to cut all the wood? Hey, Daddy-o! What's buzzing, cousin? Yes, our street gang of tree chewers didn't get very far. They found that running away only led them right back to where they started. We decided to backtrack and take a stand, man, just like you said. After all, this is our turf, too. We've been eating all night, and, and we're stuffed, but we're ready to rumble. Amen. Let's rumble. Um, fight the good fight of faith. Everybody, pray. Lord, may we fight not by our strength, but by your spirit. Amen. Amen. Hello. Oh, the home office. Yeah, thanks for calling me back, Lattice. I'm just about done at 54 Garden Row. Only the backyard is left. I'm getting the Goliath DX-1000 cranked up now. <laughs> Big Shot was prepared. The artillery was loaded. It was a milk set, harder than a cannonball and twice as heavy. Then the command was given. Ready, aim, fire! Functioned, and there lay the milk dead, a dead on the ground. Then the spider mite said, I have a better plan. God's family works together, remember? With that, the bugs began grabbing the candy lying on the ground, the Skittles, M&Ms, and jelly beans. They were old, dirty, and hard as rocks. They were perfect. Fire on my command. Okay, Goliath, no mercy. Scorch the earth. Ready? Aim, fire! <laughs> Victory! Ah, my big bad extreme machine destroyed! Hello, Gladys. You are never to book a job at this address again. The Goliath is dead. I'm bringing back the remains. Goodbye. <laughs> face the giant. We may have won this battle, but I am worried that there will be more to come. There are many giants for each us to face in life. They may change, but God never does. In fact, God knew how hard the struggles of this world would be. That's why he sent us a friend and a savior named Jesus. He will fight every battle right beside you, and he's already won the victory.
Okay, they're uh, bona fide rock stars now. Lights, things coming at that. I mean, we're one step away from t-shirt cannons. This is amazing. Um, we have a lot to be thankful for. And I know the kids want to express their thanks to Miss Sarah. And uh, Grady, where are you? I think Grady's in charge of that. Where are you at, dude? Grady? Oh, yeah, you know what to do? All right, hit it, buddy. We want to say thank you to Sarah Davis. Not only is she does a wonderful job um, accompanying the children's choir and the junior worship leaders and being a second director in the room, but she is with us all the time for Children First. She is an absolute bedrock for us. And we want to say thank you to Miss Sarah. The children want to say thank you. And everyone wants to say thank you to Miss Claire, who is still at this very moment helping get the kids where they need to be. Um, so it's Claire, thank you. What a great job. Thank you so much. She's right behind you. <laughs> 